Hey guys, welcome to Nest With Me Part 2. So I'm getting ready to fold baby's clothes. So I'm just gonna give you a rundown of what you can expect in this video. I noticed in the last video, I was a little repetitive telling you over and over what I planned on doing. So I figured if I tell you I want some intro, then that's all I need to do. So in this video, I'm going to be um, folding baby's clothes and putting them up in his drawers. I'm going to be making padsicles in the morning and then I'm going to be sterilizing bottles, um, all my pump parts. I'm gonna be sterilizing um, pacifiers and then making space in the cabinets up top um, to put them. So that's what you can expect in this video. And uh, yeah, in part three, I'll be finishing up my hospital bag and probably part four, I'll be taking all those things that are inside of the crib and putting them where they go and stuff like that. So I can't tell you how many parts I anticipate because I don't know when baby boy's gonna come, but I'm gonna keep filming and keep documenting my, ne my nesting until he gets here. So let's get into it. guys so as you guys saw i got everything folded these are the things that are gonna hang these are kind of this thicker uh wintery clothes this is more of a fall outfit but still long sleeve and jackets and stuff like that so these are going to be hung i had to buy some hangers tomorrow so add that to my to-do list and uh everything else is folded and put in the drawers and i'll show you just a sneak peek of the drawer. Much drawer this is one of his fullest drawers at the moment so this is all six month clothes these are all his six to nine month onesies and six to nine month pants so um i'm gonna continue to fill this up as you know he gets more this is the nine 12 and 18 month drawer this is all nine month these are 12 month shirts so my pants and 18 month shirts and then up here is another one of his fuller drawers this is a three month and three to six months so these are three to six month outfits here. I put the pants with the shirts and then these are the one pieces, three to six month one pieces. And then these are all the three month one pieces and the three month outfits over there. So that's a quick peek at his drawer. I still have another load of clothes to wash and I need to refold these. These are the only six to nine month clothes, I mean six to 12 month clothes he has and they're kind of folded kind of wide. So I'm gonna fold them slim and put them in this drawer right over here. So that's what I'm doing and I'll come back in the morning and show you guys um, me making the pet sickle. So good night. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and show you guys me finishing that packing up this bag. So I have got everything almost in here except for the clothes. So I figured I'll come and show you guys and fold up the clothes. But just real quick, I'll show you a look inside. So over here is my postpartum bag. As you guys already know, here's my reversible uh, tote for dirty clothes. Here's my skincare bag. It fits all the way over in the corner. And then here's my labor bag. So in here, I was able to get a, um, let me a little bit closer. I was able to get a handheld fan, a oil diffuser, a really small one. I got some Vaseline. My Laneige sleeping mask. I got essential oils in here. My electric massager and my manual massager. So this is all, all my labor aids will be in this clear bag right here. Obviously, you guys already know toiletries, boobies, and makeup. Then I have my house shoes right here. I'm going to put my postpartum clothes down there. And then my gown, hospital gown, right on top. So that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Hi right, guys, quick update. So shout out to dad. He just put together the best and nest. I'm getting ready to wash the in newborn insert. And then I have been working. Ah, ha, ha. Cool, cool. That was a very short pain. I've been working on getting the baby's book and toy bin organized. So I'm very happy with his library. It's such a dope and diverse library. I'm super excited about this. This just makes me giggle. So I'm almost done with this. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. And then I'm going to wash the insert a new one insert and then I'll probably take a break and eat something because I have not eaten anything yet today. So yeah, 
Catch you guys on the flip side. Hey guys, so as you can see here, I am just washing bottles and sterilizing them with the Medela steam bags. These were very convenient and easy to use. However, I do suggest that you either have both sides of the sink open and available or you wash them all at once because before you can open them up, open the steam bag up and put the things away, you need to pour out the uh, remaining hot water. And I don't want to pour the dirty hot water into my clean dish water. So yeah, <laughs> just make sure you have somewhere to pour it to or you wash them all and then sterilize it so there we go also i wanted to note that in the previous clip i was cleaning out the container you want to make sure wherever you're going to put your clean bottles that you clean out the container as well because what's the point of sterilizing them if you're going to put them in a dirty container so i also want to give a shout out to our friends evelyn and benjamin for the medela storage system that we have here thank you guys so much we really appreciate it and yeah this is just me sterilizing the bottles and putting them away Alright guys, so this is the last of what's being washed right now. I've got all the passies soaking in the water right now. I'm going to have hubby wash them and steam them and then we'll put them away. Um, so here's an update of what's done. So this is the Harmony pump. These are the storage containers. This top is missing. I don't know where the top is. Uh, hopefully I find it. Um, but anyway, these are all the storage containers and bottles. These are the ones with the special lids so yeah these are all clean and then these are my specialty bottles the ones that are kind of shaped like boobs i have i think three more of these that need to be washed tomorrow and then i have some random like bottles and that will go in another bin so i cleaned out this shelf these are a little too long like it just like comes like right off of here so it won't close so i have to turn them sideways so i really want to fit two here and then probably put one up there um so yeah there's my update um very happy with my progress hey guys so i just want to come and uh follow up with you guys the last clip you saw was from saturday night it's currently wednesday it's been a very rough last few days we had a scare we thought i was going to labor on sunday um and then i haven't been sleeping good because baby's just been lowering and just giving me a bunch of heartburn and so i have been doing like a little bit of nesting every day but nowhere near as much as i was doing last week so i'm just starting to feel like definitely the day is getting closer and i'm able to do way less so i just want to come on here and just give you a quick update on what i have done i've done very little like i said very very little because i've just been in the bed trying to sleep in the day because i can't sleep at night so yeah i'm just going to show you my little updates and then um i'll go ahead and finish out the vlog this evening with me making pad tickles because i still haven't made those because i still haven't just hadn't gotten a chance to so let's go ahead and take a look at the update. all right so i have set up my bedside caddy slash you know, like nightstand i got that going on here so i set up the hatch baby rest so this is a, a touch light and sound machine it also can be programmed on your phone i have already programmed um nap time they, no, I've already uh, programmed wake up time and sleep time, so I have it on the timer so that Ryan and I can get used to having hearing the sound. Baby can get used to hearing the sound now, so when he comes, you know, this is just going to be part of a routine to help him to wake up easily and to go to sleep easily. When he hears the sound and sees the color, he knows. Um, once, you know, after a couple months, he'll know. He'll be sleep trained. So this is a really good device for that. Also, it's a great device for in the middle of the night for breastfeeding or changing. I don't have to turn on the big light uh, and wake up Ryan. I can actually just turn on the light without any sound. And I also turn on the sound without any light. Um, so it's really, really cool. I really enjoy it. I also love how it's just touch, just touch it. And it can come on. Also, you can program it, turn it on on your phone, turn the sound up and down on your phone. The app is really cool. Uh, then I have this clear container right here. Um, this has been very convenient having this. This is just all my medicines that I take. I take iron, I take my uh, prenatal, I take low dose aspirin, I take my steroid thyroid, and then I also have Tums right here because I've been having a really hard time sleeping and a lot of uh, heartburn, so I keep my Tums right here. Also keep a water bottle right here, and then I have some breast pads. I did start leaking the other day, so I figured you know I'll have some breast pads right there and any other little essentials or things that we might need. Um, I just want to have them right here in this little clear container. It fits perfectly on my nightstand and I have this forever rose that Ryan got me. So I think it looks very organized, very clean. And so that's next thing. I just, um, brought my skip hop caddy in here. This caddy has a little light up here. 
Oh, you have to press it. Okay. So there's that. It has a little light on it at night, so that helps. And uh, this has some newborn diapers here, powder, butt paste. This is the um, Burt's Bees All Over Balm. I'll be kind of using this like Aquaphor because it's all natural and it's a cleaner product than Aquaphor. And then I just have some water wipes right here. So my little diaper caddy is ready. I'm probably going to put some breastfeeding essentials on this side or toys or passies or whatever I need. So I just left this empty and then I'm getting my changing pad on Friday. So I'll come back and show you guys that update probably in the next vlog. All right, guys, speaking of caddies, I've got my postpartum caddy here. Um... It's getting ready. Um, it's almost ready. Um, everything else is going to come from my hospital bag or um, when I come home from the hospital. So everything that I could get ready is ready. So I have some of the Always Discreet Depends here. I have some of the Size 5 Jumbo Super Super Duper <laughs> Absorbent Pads. I have some more of them. And then I have this one. This is a size 3. So it's just one size down. These are also 10 hour overnight absorbent. And then I have a um, box of the earth mama herbal sits bath so i do have the earth mama perennial spray and uh, when i come home from the hospital i will put that in there i also uh know the hospital they give you the dermaplast and they give you the tux tux pads i plan on buying them but since they're going to give them to you already i might as well just save my money and so yeah those things will probably get moved to this row and then this row will get moved down since there's some pads up here already what i love about this is that you can just move the baskets you don't have to take everything out and rearrange it. Another thing I love about is that this one has a handle on it. So if I need to use the other bathroom, let's say Ryan's in here and he's used the other bathroom, I say, hey, babe, just ha hand, hand me the top basket and I can take this to the other bathroom and put it back with no problem. And I don't have to have two areas set up. So I really do love this little container. And that's the update on my Last update. So I have the Angel Care bath support. We'll be using this bathtub in this bathroom because we have such a big tub. So this can kind of sit in the water um, when he's older. And then when he's a newborn, we can just kind of sit him in here and sponge bathe him with this bath support. So I'm really glad we have this one. And then I think I already showed you guys this, but here's all his bath care stuff in this bathroom. So we have the Honest uh, Lavender Body Wash and Shampoo and Lotion. You have the Castile soap, which you guys already saw, and the sandwich there, which you already saw. And then I have a hooded towel and some washcloths in this little container. It fits perfectly under the sink and nice and organized. Alrighty guys, so it is now Friday and my changing pad finally came in the mail. I'm so excited. So I already washed the changing pad cover and liner. So you just see me putting them on here and folding up my extra uh, cover and my extra liner. I'm so happy that it finally came. I've been waiting for it for a while. So definitely doing a happy dance. Now I am just getting ready to move some things out of the way and vacuum. And our bedside nursery is almost complete. All we're waiting on is our Ubi diaper pail. I'm just so excited to have this almost done because I've been waiting to do this for a long, long time. So I'm definitely doing a happy dance while I vacuum. Hey guys, so I'm finally sitting down to get these pad tickles a week late, <laughs> but I'm super duper excited to get them done. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do one in real time and then I'm gonna do the rest fed up. So I have my super duper jumbo pad right here. So here I have some witch hazel. What's that? I have some, ooh. Smack myself in the face, why don't I? I have some aloe vera gel. All right, please excuse my nails, they're under construction. I'm trying to take them off before baby gets here, so please excuse them. But, and then I have my glass bowl. I have my lavender essential oil. I have a spoon. And I have some Ziploc to put them in, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get this party started. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna leave it at that. There's just a little bit left. I'm not not tripping off that little last little bit. If I need some more, I'll make the effort to get that out. <laughs> I probably cut it open and scoop it out. So let's tilt the camera down so you guys can see. There we go. So this is what our mixture is looking like. It doesn't really have a smell. And I'm gonna put about 
eight to ten drops of this lavender oil, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. Hmm. The color is interesting. Usually when I use lavender oil, it's a little bit darker. This is kind of a little clear looking. So, I don't know. But, there's that. So now I just gotta stir it all together. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Alright guys, so I have already done a few of the pasticles. I figured it would be better if I showed you uh, once I've gotten a little experience. I've got done a few of the pasticles already. Here's my first bag and I'm going to show you guys a couple tips and tricks on how to do this properly and mess free. Okay, so like I just showed you, once you guys have to make sure combines, you want to make sure you're constantly stirring it because you do have two different consistencies. You have the consistency of the uh, witch hazel and you have the aloe vera gel. So it's kind of like a gloppy consistency so you want to be very careful with it so make sure you keep stirring it that's tip number one and then you want to be very careful so let's go ahead and get started into it how you do this okay so you want to open this up make sure you keep this little sticky right here you want to keep all the pieces okay don't throw away any pieces of the pad you're going to need them all all right so that's just another tip right there so when you open it up first thing you want to do is put these little pieces back you want to fold this back because a lot of times when you have them right there and you have your wings out the wings will stick to this and then you lose your stickiness. So you want to go ahead and fold the pad, the pad cover back. And not too far back though, just like that. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's the first step. <laughs> Second step is you want to remove your wing covers gently. Do not tear them. Do not discard of them because you will need them. All right, and then last but not least, you want to turn your pad so where the front is the front, the back is the back, okay? so. Uh, another tip I want to add is if you can use a small spoon, I highly recommend using a small spoon. This spoon is kind of big, it holds a lot, so you have to be very careful with it. If you have a smaller spoon, you can really just put a little bit at a time and it can be a little less mess free. Okay, so that's another tip. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, stir before every time. Grab a nice full spoonful. Make sure you tap off any excess like that, okay? And what you want to do is you want to start in the middle, okay? So put the first little dot in the middle, first dot, okay? Second dot in the front, last dot in the back, okay? So anything else needs to come off the spoon, okay? Because you don't want to be putting more product while you're spreading. Now you want to use the back of the spoon to spread from the very tip top all the way to the back, okay? Be careful not to push your wings too far down, make them stick to the counter. <laughs> and just spread it all the way back to the back. From the Ruta to the Tuta, okay? Because it might have hemorrhoids, so you want to make sure you don't skip it out of the, but on the back part, okay? So take it all the way back. And if you see, it's smooth, it's not all over the place, it's not running on the sides. So you want to make sure you're very precise, just do three dots and smooth it out. And that's the best way that I've seen to do it that's mess free. Start with a little better to uh, have not enough than have too much, because again, it'll be soggy and icky. Now, you just grab your wing covers, put your wings down. You should still have plenty of stickiness. Stick them back on. Just like that. Pull your little sides from underneath. Okay, and fold it back up. Bam, bam, and bam. And because you didn't remove this, it's gonna stay closed and sanitary. Put it in your Ziploc bag, and you can put, if you can get bigger Ziploc bags, you can put more inside, but I can only fit three pads in one bag. So there's that, and then just pop it in the freezer. All right, y'all, so I got them sitting back here in the cut in their own little private section over here, okay? Away from the meats and the vegetables, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!